Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a fantastic day. Y'all, today we are going to do some super fun, super springy, super useful paper crafting. Stay tuned. So today we're going to make our own mid-sized file folders and then I'll show you a fun easy way to package these. Let's say you want to sell them at a craft fair or a church bazaar. I'll show you this really easy way. But I'm going to open these, sorry for all of that crinkling, and take them out so that you can see just how cute these are. So what I did to get this beautiful coordinated look is I used a paper pack. And I'll show you that as we get ready to make the project because I know that some of you have left comments saying that you're having difficulties matching patterns or putting patterns together and that's common. That is not unusual. It just takes some time and it takes coming out of your normal comfort zone to match patterns that ordinarily wouldn't go. Because I don't know about you but I'm from the generation that everything had to match. So if you had this type of wood then the other wood should match that. If you were wearing plaids you would never match those plaids with polka dots, you would never match polka dots with paisley. And if you're of the same generation, toss all of that out the window because when we're paper crafting, we can mix and match however we want because the key is consistency in color and eye flow, not consistency in pattern. And I'll show you what I mean right here. You can see that I have three very different patterns, but they all come from the same paper collection. And what is common, we are drawing on the pink that pulls all of this together across these very three different file folders. So what I have in my file folders is when you open them up, I created a little pocket and we can tuck in some of our eight by eights if you wanted to send this to someone as a gift, or you could use something like this as scrap organization by making a file folder that will hold particular types of scraps. So if you're going to do something like these file folders, why not do them in style? Y'all know what time it is. It is time to make it. All right, y'all, so for this project, I am using this paper kit from Echo Park and it's called Home Again. I am going to hold this up so hopefully you guys can get the SKU if you want to go look for this paper. Now, as I said earlier, one of the ways that you can really ensure that you don't go wrong with mixing your patterns is to use a collection such as this. And you can see from all of these different patterns and colors that it all just flows beautifully with the eye. You can take these florals and very easily match them with the stripes, with this plaid, with this one. You can match it with this one, this one, or this one. So super easy to match up. You could also take the others and in reverse do matches with these other patterns that you have. So if you're having difficulties trying to figure out how to match your pattern, start with something like this so that it's already predetermined for you and you can just pull out a couple of sheets so that you can start matching something that takes you outside of your normal comfort zone. Because the more you do what you would consider mismatching, the more comfortable you'll become with matching different patterns such as the flowers and the plaids. And what I like about the collection, some of them will have sheets of ephemera like this one does and I have all of these beautiful pieces that I'll be able to use on my project but then you typically get sticker sheets as well so I have these beautiful beautiful stickers that if I want to place some of them on my project I can. So these are my pattern selections and I think that they work beautifully together. Right, guys, so what I'm going to do first before I cut these is I'm going to separate them into two groups with one of each pattern in those groups. And the reason why I'm doing this is because a couple of my inside pieces also have patterns on them. And I want to make sure that when I cut these pieces out, I have the insides going in the same direction. So the first thing that I'm going to do is make me two groups of three, making sure that they're all going in the same direction. And the first thing that I want to do is trim all of them at nine and a half. So let's just go ahead and do all of our trims. So I'm going to take these, put them in, cut all of these down to nine and a half. And then I'll have these scrap left over 
and I'm going to save those. So I can take these and I'm going to take one of the groups of three and trim them at seven and a half. And then I can take my second group and I'm going to trim them at eight. So I went through the exercise this way so that we would make sure that when I have these two folders and I get ready to put them together and I put them together like this, then my patterns are going to be going in the right direction because y'all know me, I'll have a pattern going all over the place. But this time I wanted to make sure I tried to get them matched neatly. So I am just going to take each pattern and group it. I am going to save these pieces because we're going to use some of them. So now what you should have, you should have three pieces that measure nine and a half by seven and a half, and you should have three pieces that measure nine and a half by eight. So we're going to start with the piece that measures nine and a half by eight. And on the eight inch side, we're going to score at half an inch and at seven and a half. And let's just go ahead and score all of our pieces that measure eight and a half by nine. We're going to score all of those at half an inch and at seven and a half. And so you only end up scoring your three eight by nine and a half pieces at half an inch and at seven and a half. Now that I think about it, I think I want to use, I think I'm going to use this side because I actually like that a little bit better. So we are just going to fold and burnish all of the scores. So now that we have everything folded and burnished, we're going to take our tape runner or you can use double-sided tape and we're going to place tape on one of those half inch scores that we made. And we'll do this on all three of our pieces. So you guys can see that I am doing this assembly style. So now what you have is going to look like this. You'll have three pieces where you fold it over the top and then you have the bottom where you have that score. So we're going to take the matching seven and a half by nine and a half inch piece and we're going to place it down and the way that I'm going to do it I am going to use my tape runner and place down some tape trying to get close to that edge and close to that score mark without going over that score mark then I'm going to take this piece and just join the two And now when I fold it and I flip it over, you can see that I have this top here and that is going to be the top part that we'll work on in just a minute. But we're going to go ahead and put all of these together. I am going to bring in my piece that measures seven and a half by nine and a half and join it to this piece that I'm placing my tape on. So all I'm doing is taking this piece and getting it matched as best I can. And we'll do our last one. This piece we're going to place down our piece that measures seven and a half by nine. Get that stuck. And now we have three file folders and of course we want that tab look that we get from file folders. So the first thing I'm going to do is decide which one I want in the front and I think I want this to be my front. So I am going to grab my finger blade and here's all I'm going to do. So with it facing me, 
I am basically going to take my finger blade and I'm pushing my finger blade against this piece right here. And then I'll just cut. I'll just bring it straight out. I'm not cutting through this piece. Once my finger blade is resting against this piece, I'm just cutting out at an angle. Then I'll bring in my stylus and right where the cut was made, I am just going to use this part as a grid and I'm going to score. Then I can open this. I can take this piece and fold it in. And you can see that I have my tab for my file folder. So I can take this piece and I can now place some tape on it, fold it in, out of the way. And now we have a very beautiful file folder. So I am going to bring in my second one, but to get my placement, I want to make sure that I have the original one sitting next to it so that I can figure out where I want the placement. So when I do it this time, I am going to push my finger blade right there in the corner where this one ends and I'll make a cut angling in then I'll come over as far as I want and make another cut angling in. Now I'm going to use my scoring tool again, pressing against the folded folder. And I'm not making score marks on the tab. I'm only making my score marks on both sides of the tab. So I can take this and fold it in just like that. I'm going to take my tape. I'm going to get this stuck down. Then I am going to use my finger blade because I don't like the angle on that piece. And I'm just going to angle it a little bit more so that it's more uniform with that piece. So now you can see we have our second beautiful tab. So now I'll bring in my third piece and I'm going to line it up with that piece that I just cut and we'll do the same thing. So here is that corner piece on this slanted tab. I'll just go right in there and angle out. And that's all I need to do on that one. So now I'm going to bring in my stylus again, go to where I've made that cut and just using the folded part as my guide, I'm making a score. And then I'll take this piece, I'll fold it in, and then I'll take my tape, and fold that over. And just like that, we have three beautiful, beautiful file folders. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to round my ends and if you have a corner rounder, you can use that here, but I'm just going to round mine slightly, not a lot. And there's my rounded tab. I'll do the same thing on this one. Just going to give it a very slight rounding, not much. So basically all I'm doing is I'm just removing that pointed edge that was on the tab. And I'll do the same thing here. And there we have our three file folders. Of course we want to dress these up a little bit. So here's how I'm going to do mine. I will be using three of my scrap pieces. And I'm just going to put these in my trimmer. And I'm just going to trim them down in length to nine and three eighths. So then I'll take these three pieces and I'm going to score them at half an inch. And then I'll fold and burnish these and I am simply going to tape them down.
right, so now we can bring in our folders and we can go ahead and insert our pockets. And what I'm going to do is I want to have a contrasting pocket on the inside. So I am going to just take this one, add my glue on three sides of that pocket. And we'll place it down. And we'll place it right there. Now I'll bring in this one and I am going to take this pocket and place it on the inside. So again, I'll do my glue on three sides. We're going to place this down right there. That way we'll have pockets where we can tuck scraps or whatever you want to put in it. And they'll be cute. So then I'm going to bring this piece in and then we'll take this piece, add my glue to the back, put it on three sides so that we can create a pocket. Then I'll take this piece and I'm going to place it right there where I have the fold, but not on the fold line. And so now we have our three beautiful folders. It really is a matter of decorating them at this point. So that is where my sticker sheets are going to come into play. So I think that I am going to use some of these to really, really decorate this. And I already like this one that says, welcome to our home. So I'm going to take that one and put it on the front of this folder. And at this point, all I'm doing is just decorating because the project itself is complete. But I just want to add some real cuteness to these folders. So I am going to place that right there. And you can see how we really are starting to build that cohesive look. So on this one, I'm going to pull in one of the border sheets because we have a lot of blank space on this folder. And I'm going to take that border sheet, place it right there, trim away this excess. And I am going to put the excess back on my sticker sheet because I might be able to use it later. So then I am going to find me a cute little sticker to place on this one. I think I'm going to go with the one that says our happy place. Place some glue on the back. Place that right there. Now we'll bring in this one and we are going to find ourselves a really cute little sticker or saying for this one. And I think that I like this one that says, there's no place like home. And I am going to just take my glue, place some glue on the back, take that and place it right there. And now you're able to get a glimpse of just how cute these are. But let's do some really cute decorating, really cute and quick decorating to the inside. So on this one, I am going to take my little piece of ephemera that says gather together. And we'll place that down right here. Then I'll bring in this one. And I have this sweet little sticker right here that says happiness served here. And I really like how that looks. So I'm going to take that, place it right there. And now let's do the last one, which is this one. 
On the front, we have our happy place. And on the inside, I'm going to take this one that says live simply, add my glue, and place that down. So then we can take some of our scraps and I'm just going to tuck a couple of my scraps in the pocket because that way you'll be able to see how we're able to take these scraps and use them in our project. So if you have scrap pieces, you can tuck them in and coordinate how you're going to have your scraps look. So I'll just take those and tuck them right there. You can put all types of little goodies in here. You can put sticker sheets. You can put so much cuteness in these little folders and they are really functioning file folders. And these are perfect for some of those papers that we might have that are not 12 by 12s, but we really want a place to store them. Why not create something like this to make it really, really cute and functional? So I'm going to show you a very easy way that we can package these to gift, give, or sell. I have a plastic self-adhesive cellophane bag. I cannot remember the size of this, but I'll have the link in the description box. So if you click on the link, it'll give you all of the information about this bag. So I am going to take all of my folders, place them in my bag, and you can see just how cute they already look. Then I'm going to remove that adhesive backer, fold this over, turn it over, and then I'll shake it down so that the piece that I peeled is now at the bottom. And then we had lots of scrap on this project, so we're going to take one of our scrap pieces, and I'm using the scrap piece that's four and a half by nine and a half. I am going to take my bag so I can see how wide it is. My bag is nine inches wide, so I am going to trim this to nine and one eighth. So I have a topper piece that is nine and one eighth by four and a half. I am going to score this in the middle at two and a quarter. Then I'm just going to fold that topper in half. I'm going to take my tape and I'm just going to place tape from end to end on both sides of this. And I mentioned in an earlier video that I don't like to use staples. And the reason why I don't like to use staples on my topper is because I think they're unsightly. So I don't use them. That's just my personal preference. So now I'm going to take this and on the end opposite where we fold it over the tape, that's the top. So I'll take it and I'm just placing it down onto that topper and then I can fold over my topper. And now we have a very beautiful, professional looking topper. All we need now is something cute across the top. So I think what I'm going to do is I am going to take one of my stickers. So I offset that sticker so a little bit of it hits the plastic. Then I am going to use this piece of ephemera here that says our happy place. So I am going to lift up that sticker just a little bit because I want to tuck that under that and I am just going to use some of my glue. Take this piece and we're going to position it just like that. Now look at this gorgeous pack of file folders that we have that you're able to make using your scrapbook papers, using your decorative 12 by 12 papers. It does not take a whole lot for us to make something custom. And that's exactly what this is, it's custom. So I am going to bring the first set back in so that you can see just how gorgeous these are and how easy they were to make. I'm gonna go ahead and just open these so you can have a look at all of this cuteness. And like I said, I will have a link for the plastic bags in my description box. So when you open these up, 
you really do have a place that you can put all types of goodies. We don't always have to have file folders that are eight and a half by 11 because not everything that we work with is eight and a half by 11. So why not custom make folders to fit what you need them to fit? And I'll give you one last look at this stinking cute, delicious gorgeousness. It is absolutely fabulous and I love making these. So guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this project. If you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join this awesome online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.